All right, everybody, welcome back to the Robinson curriculum course. And we're sort of wrapping things up now. And we're going to talk about what about all the other subjects? What about geography? What about history? What about science? So we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions when it comes to that. Now, if you are in a state where you have to provide a more broken down game plan, more documentation, you have to put something down for science. Then if you go on the Robinson curriculum Facebook group and you look in the files and maybe you talk to a mentor there, they will be able to guide you and help you as to how. And just ask in the forum, other parents have obviously gone through this, how they break it down, how they uh, set up their diplomas and their courses and credits, all that kind of stuff. Now, as far as geography and history and science, it comes through the books. Now, what if you want a little bit more? My favorite is the Book of Knowledge. This is an encyclopedia set. This isn't just one book. It's a whole encyclopedia set. And this is also included for free in the RC online bonus section. Each book has its own different topics under the same category, such as the Book of Earth, the Book of the United States, the Book of Familiar Things, the Book of Wonder, and it, uh, the Book of Stories, the Story of Famous Books, the Book of Golden Deeds. So each book has different topics under the same general categories. And I love this set. It does come from an evolutionary standpoint, but that's not really in the whole set. That's just in some of the beginning parts. But overall, I think it's a tremendous value. Uh, my children pick this up and read it all the time, maybe while they're waiting for a meal or for copy work I've mentioned before, just sitting around extra reading. It's very interesting. There's a book of school lessons too. There's a lot under there. There's also a guide for this in the R RC online bonuses that kind of gives you a little breakdown. And I've printed it up and I've done a video on that and I've done a video on the book of knowledge. So I'll link all that below if you want more information on that. But let's say you're doing RC from another country and you want to add some of your country's history. Well, you could use the book of knowledge. You can find out from that course outline book where everything is. So that's easier for you to find and go to the history of Canada or England or wherever you're at. Some other recommendations of favorites that parents like to use are maybe some of the classical conversation memory work CDs, the timeline song. If you just want to play that in the car, you can, or you can just get a globe and maybe every book that you read, talk about where it was published, where the author was from. You could even just get placemats at the table with the map of the United States. I find anything that I put at the dining table will get studied and uh, looked at and read. So I just really want to encourage you that it doesn't have to be a curriculum for every single subject. You can learn so much through the books. And if you do want to add on something, if you're in a season of life where you can and want to, add on something else, then I encourage you to just look for the most uh, efficient and inexpensive options. You don't have to uh, spend money on a whole curriculum. You, could, you don't have to get all of classical conversations curriculum. You could just get the timeline cards or the timeline song. If you are a parent who wants to do a little bit more and you're in a season of life where you can, then that's when I recommend all this other stuff that you can do. Um, and again, I always say go for the most inexpensive but most effective way, like just having those placemats on the table with the map of the United States. Um, you don't have to buy the entire Classical Conversations uh, curriculum or do that. You can just get the timeline uh, cards or do the timeline song. Honestly, RC is just great at freeing you up to do whatever it is that you have an interest in. Maybe it is sports, or maybe it's the chess club or a debate club. Really, this is whatever you wanna make it. For example, recently I did an art show, a homeschooling art show at our local library. I just rented a free meeting room at the library, one that was big enough for all of us, and I invited kids in our homeschooling circles to make three different art pieces, whatever it may be, and we displayed it, and we had a little competition, and there were prizes, and that was a lot of fun. There was no art curriculum that I used. We did a couple classes on Skillshare, on how to do watercoloring, or they just kind of did stuff on their own, uh, and they submitted that in the art show. It was a lot of fun. It was a great time. So again, you could just really make this whatever you want it to be. I also did a science fair last year, and I just got a book from the library on science, science experiments, and each kid picked their own experiment, and we worked on that, and we, again, 
displayed and had a little competition and prizes. But again, I didn't do a whole big science curriculum or big t money time investment. Um, and they learned and they had fun. So I just want to encourage you in that regard. Okay, so that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to finish it up with uh, other frequently asked questions and the rules and some closing thoughts. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.